Well, hello, good people, once again, with the big dog. I haven't shown this one in a while. The Drive Smart 70, a true 7 inch with the built in traffic receiver that doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? Well, that's actually, that's not true. The built in traffic receiver doesn't work on this one. It never did, but if I plug in a GTM 36 or a GTM 60, it will work. You know, I was thinking about this um, when I first started doing GPS videos. Um, traffic worked great. It really did. Whether you were on smartphone or using a Garmin over FM or using a Garmin paired to a uh, Garmin Drive app or SmartLink, LinkSmart, whatever it's called. I mentioned that recently. These days, however, traffic reporting has taken such a nosedive. It is crazy just how much it doesn't work anymore. Let me clarify that. It will either just straight up not work or partially work and bear in mind i live in dallas fort worth texas where the fm traffic reception for one of these is awesome i even get all the hd stuff so if i plug in a 2599 lmt hd i get everything i do because I am right in the area where the reception is great and I get all, I even get the little weather report, all free, mind you. I get the little weather report up there and the traffic reporting and all the HD traffic reporting. But even so, what I have been noticing since, I'll say beginning of 2024 up to now, is that cr across the board, not just on these, not just on these, across the board, I I've been reading user reviews a lot on the Google Play Store of uh, Waze, Google Maps, TomTom, Tom, which by the way, uh, TomTom Tom just released their new Maps and Traffic app, if you want to go check that out. They had Amigo and Go. TomTom Tom Go is the paid one. TomTom Tom Amigo was the free one. Amigo is gone, and now it's just TomTom Tom Maps and Traffic, um, which is what Amigo turned into. It's got a new icon and everything, and you'll see it. And users are already complaining because they're saying that the overlay mode in Android Auto doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Have I tested this? No, because I don't have Android Auto. I have an older car, and yeah, but even if I had infotainment, I would still use this anyway. Anyway, so since 2024, I've been noticing a decline just across the board, both for FM over the air for this, and for uh, smartphone apps that are supposed to deliver the latest up to datest traffic reports it is such a dice toss whether it's actually going to work and in many instances it doesn't and I'm going to bring up Dallas Fort Worth again because again I, I want to just say that I am directly in the area where the FM and the HD is at peak I don't have a problem getting signal for that I don't. I don't. Any unit I have that is traffic capable gets a uh, the FM signal. No problem at all. Easy. But <laughs> there have been times where it just... It's either uh, late to report or it will report something that's been cleared already. Um... It's never reported anything that's not been... Oh, no, no, I got to back up. If if I encounter it and it's already cleared, then, you know, it basically doesn't exist at that point. Yeah, I was going to say something else. I had to correct myself right there. 
the last time I had a uh, a faux pas, if you will, with the traffic reporting is, where was I heading? I was heading to Grapevine, I think. It was either grape, Grapevine or Flower Mound or something like that. Anyway, so I was, I might have been even into Dallas. I don't remember. But what I was doing is driving along and I was with the Drive Smart, uh, using the Drive Smart 76. You know, that's the current latest, greatest one, right? And, um, of course, I've got the FM traffic reporting going on, and it reported something, and so what it did is it auto-recalculated the route, which I appreciate. Okay, fine. But in the auto-recalculation that it did, it went around traffic that just simply wasn't there. And it added about 10 minutes to my trip. I mean, is that the end of the world? No. But if I did not have traffic reporting on to begin with. Remember how I said recently, you know, you might want to turn it off sometimes if it's having problems. Well, here's another reason to turn it off sometimes. Is that if you are relatively certain that you're going to have, uh, you're not going to encounter traffic wherever you're going on a, any specific trip. You know, just just go to settings and then the traffic and it's, because I have it disabled, right? And just, you know, if it's enabled, just disable it. Just remember to turn it back on later if you want to, and you might not. So like I said, it added 10 minutes to my trip. I, I was annoyed. Again, it wasn't the end of the world. No, but I was a little annoyed with that. It's like, okay, you know, because I paid full whack, full whack for that 76. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I got 80 bucks off of it because of the holiday sale. But still, that's even with 80 bucks off, it's still pretty expensive. Now, there is a bright side to all this. If the traffic reporting isn't as good as it used to be, well, that means you can start using little guys like this, uh, see this little 1100 right here? Little tiny guy. Now yeah, let me get, just get the screen on so you can see it better. Technically, I can get traffic into an 1100 if I plug on a GTM 35. I actually did do that once, but I would never use traffic on this thing. Anyway, my point is, is that if you were on the fence of uh, getting yourself an older Garmin that simply did not have traffic reporting in it. Okay, there it is. Yeah, this little guy right here. Uh, let me just go to the About screen. Yeah. Little guy. And you can use it without worry because... Let's put that over there. If you know the traffic reporting is not as good as it used to be, and it's going to be somewhat flaky depending on where you are, well, then just go buy something that just doesn't have traffic reporting. And you will probably be okay. Like a Nubi 1100, or let's just say a 20, oh, uh, what's that model? A 2555 LM, not the LMT. So, or, or let's just say a matte screen, like a new V65, not a, um, not, not the drive smart 65, new V65, the matte screen one, LM. So if you're, cause if you're going through eBay listings and you see some that are, uh, LM and LMT and the T almost always costs more, but if the traffic reporting isn't as great as it used to be, well then you can just get the LM and not worry about it, right? So that opens up a whole bunch of used garments that you could get. That's the bright side right there. That, that is the bright side. And ultimately, okay, well, what are we going to do about this? Since the traffic reporting across the board, be it Google Maps or Waze or Garmin or what, if it's all flaky, if it all flaky, and again, I'm going to remind you, I'm in DFW where 
the traffic reporting is best, <laughs> okay? For reception, for timely reports, for everything. It doesn't get any better than here. Okay, maybe in New York or Boston or Los Angeles or even Tampa, Florida for that matter, any major metro, um, but especially here, especially here in Dallas, Fort Worth. Oh, it doesn't get any better, right? But it's even flaky over here. So, hmm, right? What was I getting at? Oh, yeah. So, I mean, it opens up a bunch of used models you can get. And if it's bad across the board, if it's bad across... Okay, I won't say bad. It's flaky, yeah. If it's flaky across the board, well, then you're opened up to getting a whole bunch of other used ones and just simply not worry. Oh, yeah. What are we going to do about this? Right. Sorry. I lost my train of thought there for a moment. Well... I find that the best way is to check the trip before you start using Google Maps web version. Yeah, the web-based version, whether it's on PC or Mac or phone. Not for navigation, not for navigation, just for, because uh, you can go into Google Maps and you can turn on the traffic layer and you just take a look. So... You check the trip before you head out. You know, old school stuff. It, well, it's not exactly old school, but you know what I mean. So you you look at uh, the highways and you look for the red lines and you say, oh, there's a red line there. Okay. And let's just say wherever you're going, it's about an hour away. Fine. You look at the highway lines like, you know, if you were going to take a look at it, you're going to take a look at the whole trip and whatever. And let's just say for whatever reason, like, okay, we're at 175. Let's just say this part, and this would show it, you know, on Google Maps. Uh, let's just say you saw the red line, and oh my God, that's, they, they got a backup over there. Okay, and you can plan accordingly. Essentially, plan ahead. To explicitly trust the Garmin or any app that you're using these days, is not a very smart idea. It just isn't. Because more often than not, um, the reporting will either be late, not there, wrong, inconsistent, whatever one other word you want to throw in there. So you're better off just checking before you go. And again, the bright side is, is that, okay, being that is the way of things now, well, now you can get a whole bunch of other garments used ones even if they don't have any traffic reporting at all so it opens things up for you also if you do have uh, just on a last note if you already have some older garments in your possession and uh, you were afraid to use them because oh no i need that traffic reporting well think again use it yes. sure go ahead because again it's likely that even with your traffic-enabled model, it's probably not going to perform for traffic reporting as well as you would like it to. Probably not. So, again, solution, although no one wants to hear this, it's the truth. Just go and check the uh, route before you go. Go on the Google Maps on your PC, your Mac, or phone. Look at the highway, look for the red lines, plan accordingly, and that's how you get around it. And uh, again, if you want to go get a used model, or if you have a used model with no traffic, well, I would consider it more or less even Stevens, so to speak, safe to use compared to newer ones.